Hello everyone, welcome to another video, and um, so uh, I had some requests for uh, content like Eternal Temple level 70, and um, to be honest I only did level 55, I'm too weak for 60, Timeless Trails, well I'm not that far, only made it to a plus I think, didn't even make it to S, um, my ancient beckoning also isn't really good. I also I always get E plus. Um, I'm trying to grow. Um, why does my voice sound so heavy? I don't know. Sorry. Um, but yeah, this video is not about anything like that. This video is a my most requested video on this channel. And that is how to build Sigma. Just let me have a sneak peek. So, um, yeah, Sigma was made by Gizrav. And um, he was made to build Langrisser. Um, his factions are Protagonist buff by Matthew, Meteor Strike buff by Serida. And Yellow's Legends buff by Landius and himself. And his faction buff. Um, yeah, I'm going to talk about it later. So uh, we begin with his talent, Solitary Will. At 3 stars. When attacking, attack increases by 5%. If you haven't attacked on this turn and you're located on defense increasing terrain, you can one more action and gain the snipe status. Unit range plus one but cannot move, lasts for one turn. Cooldown trigger cannot be dispelled for turn cooldown. <laughs> and um, on uh, six stars, I believe this has a one round cooldown, so yeah, each turn. Ranger's heart plus, yeah, your skill that you have. So, talk about his talent. Only at 3 stars, I don't really know what it is at 6 stars, my bad, sorry. I do really like his skins though. Um, his Echo of Light, yeah. It's pretty cool, it was the first Echo of Light I could buy when I started this game. I didn't, of course, because I didn't have him yet. And um, yeah, I really, really want this skin. But that's not gonna happen, so... Bad luck for me. So let's talk about his classes then. Um, you get him as an archer, which gives you Ranger's Heart. It's an assist active skill. Terrain you are standing on will be regarded as forest. Last one turn can act can attack again after use. So this is like a transform skill without transforming, and you get to act. Again, but not move and um, see this is very effective with his talent when you're standing on a defense increasing tile you can act again and your range is plus one and um, with this skill you can do that like infinitely um, so first I'm going to talk about his infantry then his sniper and then his uh, assassin. So for gladiator, you get savage attack. Um, attacks a single enemy, dealing damage equal to 1.2 damage. When you are on defensive terrain, cast stun on enemy before battling begins. Last one turn. And um, with ranger's heart, this can be from two range. Soldiers he gets are elite infantry and merman lords. Then for Vindicators, uh, his faction buff, which is useless. I mean, if you don't have Lanius, okay, and you always bring faction buff with Lanius, always, except when you're um, unlocking his awakening skills in plus one cost. But um, so his faction buff, legendary, and I'm going to talk about it anyway. Um, active skill attack and defense increases significantly for all yellow's allies within range and damage increases by 15% when HP is lower than 80% last 4 turns. 
and this is the reason why you don't bring it. You need to be under 80% for it to work. <laughs> and nobody really wants that, do you? So you also get a passive attack break before battle, 50% chance to reduce enemies attack and end by 20%, loss one turn. Pretty basic, and the soldiers he gets are heavy infantry and tight monsters. Then for his sniper class, you get roundabout. When when initiating battle, damage dealt is decreased by 10%, can move again 2 blocks after battle, cooldown trigger this move again, his effect has 1 round cooldown. Also pretty basic, soldiers he gets are elves and dark elves. <laughs> Kinda balanced yin yang. Then for his ranger, you get deathmatch. When entering battle, unit's attack and skill increases by 12%, defense and magic defense decreases by 7%. So, you do get more attack and skill, but your defense and magic defense are lower, which isn't good. And then, Strong Wind Snipe, one of his best, uh, yeah, one of his best attacks. Physical damage. Attacks a single enemy, dealing damage equal to 0.8 damage. The farther you are from target, the higher the damage will be. Damage dealt will increase by 15% for each one additional block block up to 90% after battle mobility plus 2 last one turn <laughs> you now see why I call this one of his best the, the normal range is 4 blocks so you can he's a long range sniper and even in infantry you can even use this in infantry and raider so his SSS as the oh, I forgot to talk about the soldiers. So he gets elf masters and dark elf snipers. Then for his assassin he gets sneak. When initiating battle, crit increase by ten percent, damage taken decreases by twenty percent. He gets ambushers and sharpshooters. So that was that were his classes. Oh wait, I forgot to talk about neutralizing fire. Attack single enemy, dealing damage equal to 1.25 damage when you are on defensive terrain, deals fixed damage once before battle begins, damage is equal to one time hero attack. So you build him on attack. Then for his soldiers, um, from his training ground he get Leviathan, Firebrand Snipers and Shinobi's and Cyborg Vessels. And you do really want to give him Cyborg Vessels. Because they can attack um, too even with strong wind snipe because they don't have range. Here it says one range, but if you do an attack, which is four range, they will also attack. They're his best, and shinobis not. Because shinobis are always cool, but yeah, they don't have much survivability, and since these are infantry, they have more survivability than. Shinobis or Leviathans, Firebrand Snipers. So Cyborg Vessels always take them. He's actually the only one who can use them. For his equipment, yeah. Um, excuse me, but I need to check my uh, top of the server. Extreme magic boat, that's right. Um, attack plus 10% units damage is not reduced in melee battles. Yeah, I forgot it's extreme magic bow. Just, yeah. He actually just needs the basic archer um, setup for gear and infantry. You don't really keep him as an infantry. Um, but okay, then for his 3C, which released a couple weeks ago. Ranger's Eye. So, uh, active active skill applies ranger's mark. Damage taken from Sigma increased by 15%. Cannot be dispelled. Ignores immunity. After Sigma actively deals damage to target with ranger's mark, ranger's mark is cleared and skill is replaced with one strike, which is physical damage. Attacks a single enemy unit to deal 1.5 damage extra effective against flyers. After use, the skill is replaced with ranger's eye. It has a cooldown of 4 turns, ranges everywhere, only in straight lines though. 
and for his clip, yeah, it, it's a cool clip. Um, now for his bonds, I know that for sure because I checked before I made this. I should actually, but okay. So for his bonds, um, for the first bond you need intimacy level five. The second bond clear um, time rift three six normal. For his third bond three six uh, three one elite. Sorry, three one elite. Then for his defensive bond you need to do Varna's last uh, gate of fate. And his attack bond um, ultimate gate of fate. His final one, so Gate of Fate 7 and Farna Gate of Fate 5. And you need to help them with it. And it wasn't really that hard, so... Hard bond, yeah, you need to be level... I don't know. You need to be high level. And your total intimacy must be level 35. Then, um... When Hero Class is Vindicator, when attacked with a ranged attack, damage taken is decreased by 10% after entering the battle. When Hero's Class is Ranger, when attacked by enemies with debuffs, damage taken is reduced by 10%. Yeah, you can all read this for yourself. I'm, I'm not going to read this because then you think I'm boring. But a wise friend once said to me, you can never talk too much in a video. So I'm going to do it anyway, sorry. When hero class is vindicated, which is infantry, when attacking with melee, damage dealt will increase by 10% after entering the battle. When hero's class is ranger, damage dealt increases by 10% against enemies with higher HP percentage than yours after entering battle. And then yeah, the basic when it's level 10, all heroes that's plus 5%. So, um, this was it. Thank you so much for watching, um, please like this video, it's much requested, so if you don't watch it, then what, what are you doing here? So, um, thanks for watching, keep on liking, keep on subscribing, keep on watching, hit that notification bell for uh, future videos, and I'll see you around the next video, take care, and goodbye.